All right, guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing just a mixture of bits and pieces, um, mainly the starter motors, I'm gonna swap them around, and I'm gonna just take out the passenger seat and replace the seat belt latch, because this one, when you plug it in, it seizes, like, and you have to wiggle it out, and then when you, sometimes if you turn to the left, the seat belt indicator on the dash lights up, so it's a bit funky. Hopefully they're the same as a five door one or a four, five door one, I can't see why not. And I'm gonna swap the starter motors because I thought in the last video, this has got the engine, it's got a code for the cam angle sensor. And I was more than confident that that was the reason why it struggled to start. Um, but I swapped them around and it's made no difference. So I'm gonna swap the starters around. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, and then we're gonna get the seats out. Um, I'm not going to go, I might just do a quick time lapse of the seats, it's not very hard to undo, just make sure that you disconnect your battery before you unclick the airbag, there's an airbag plug on the back, at the bottom of the seat, just make sure you disconnect the battery, because if you don't, you'll have a nice airbag light on your dash, so we don't want that. Um, you're not going to need many tools. Obviously you need a 10mm for to disconnect the battery terminals, 10mm socket. And then for the seats you just then need an M10 multi-spline sockets for the seat bolts. And then maybe a screwdriver to, to um, disconnect the uh, airbag switch under the seat. So I'm going to set up the time lapse and do that quick. And then I'll see you, well I'll talk back to you when I'm ready to do the starter motors. Because it's a bit more in depth and you see a bit more hands on then. So... That's the plan for today. It's nice and frosty. I'll freeze my bits off. So yeah, let's get to it. I'll see you in a minute. All right, that is the seat removed. And it's held in with, it's got two, it's got four bolts. So one, two, three and four. And then when you lift the seat up, you're just left with this. Move out of the way, you've got your airbag one. There's another one that's fallen down there. But anyway, look how many goodies we've got down here. Uh, we've got some money as always. A couple of nuggets, that's always good. A few coppers, I love it. Ooh, cheeky 5p. What a bargain. I'm going to hoover all this up. Oh, no I won't because I've forgotten the hoover, so... I want to get leather seats for this anyway, so I'm not too worried. All right, let's um, crack on and well, actually I'll show you the seat. Let's just chill in. This is what we've got to replace. So as you can see, there's a wire and it just clips in under here. And it looks like there's one bolt and it looks like you've got to get it through the rail. There it is. Looks like an M6 or something like that. So. Once, I'm, once I've got the other one out of that car, oh yeah, I changed the wheels around as well off camera. So, let me see if I can show you. I don't know what you guys think of them. I think it looks a little bit better. But if anyone can tell me why, on the passenger side, the wheel, it's got bare poke. It pokes past the arch. But on the driver's side, not too bad, but it's probably something to do with suspension. I took this piece of trim off because I've in the shed I've got some sparkling grey BMW paint. Obviously, once we take the bumper and wing off of that bad boy, it's not going to be the same colour as this. So I don't really want to buy 50 quid worth of paint if that BMW paint's similar. It's better than having a silver bumper, so like I said, this is on a budget, so we'll see. I thought that'd be a good test piece to see if it matches. I will eventually get it painted properly, but for now, everything. But I think it looks sick on them wheels. And it turns out that that doesn't have lowering springs, so we might have to get some cheapies for this, because it's like a hovercraft. But slowly but surely, we're getting there. All right, let's get the seat out of that one. Seats all out the silver one. As you can see, this one inside is a bit more substantial. It's all moldy. 
I still don't understand how you can let your car get this filthy, like kids have had the chips in there. It's oh, some of these bits are mine, but like fucking oh look at it. I'm not I don't know why I'm putting my tools on there really. I'm thinking, but yeah, okay, so let's get this oh yeah. This piece had a nice tr cover on it that mum's missing, so we'll take that. Oh, see, this is why we've got to look. Cheeky nugs. All right, let's get the seats next to each other, and then we'll just see about swapping them bits around. So both the seats are next to each other. Now to access some little bolt that I showed you before, you want to... Oh, I can't do this with one hand. You basically want to bring, push the that down and move the rails all the way up on each side and then it just gives you enough room to get that little bolt in there and it is a little M8 multi-spline because if you don't move them you can't get to them so this, I've done the rails on this and you can see it just gives you enough room to unbolt it and then you want to disconnect this little wire here and then you can swap them around so I'm going to do that quick. Okay guys, so I've taken these seat belts off and surprise, surprise, they're different. So this is the one out of the five door. As you can see, the base has got a bend in it and the actual thing is slightly different. And on my one, it's straight and it's just duct taped together or electrical taped together. So it's probably been replaced at some point. That's annoying, so. I could try and bodge it and cut that tab off, but cut that off and it should fit, but and then I have to, it won't fit properly on that one. <clears throat> I've tried to separate these, but I don't want to break them, so I'm just going to put the old one back in and cry. I'll see you in a minute. Also, whilst I'm here, that's the size of the bolt <coughs> that holds that in place, so that, when you're in an accident, is what's saving your life. Don't put much trust in that, do you? <laughs> right, seat's finally back in. Bit disappointed that that didn't work because everything on this car so far doesn't seem to work apart from the wheels, but then one of them pokes and one of the tires got bulging and they're not actually real GTI wheels, which I'm kind of pissed about. Tried to change the stereo, stereo don't work, so. So far, the only good thing that's happened to me in this car is that I bought the right air, that I had a brand new air filter in the shed from an old Passat that I had. So, yeah. Steady progress. Oh, and that I put a GT steering wheel in it and rubber floor mats. So, hopefully, we change the starters over now. Kind of lost enthusiasm for today, but we'll see. And I need a wee. So I'm just going to tidy up, go for a wee. May have some go-go juice, fat coffee. And go from there. So far, a bit of a fail. So I've got the starter motor out of the silver one. Um, it's taking longer and I've got to do something at a certain time, so... I'm just going to time lapse it, but basically I'll give you a quick walkthrough on how to do it. Um, there's plenty of other videos on how to do it, but I'll just give you a brief, a brief rundown. So I always disconnect the battery um, purely because you're removing live wires, and yeah, they won't do anything, but they'll spark on anything that you touch. So touch it with. So I like to just disconnect the battery, and then you've got no worries. Obviously, it's just make room for you, make space to work in, so remove the air box, it's over there, it's literally, you can just undo one, I think it's, um, yeah, five mil allen key, one bolt, and then take this, take this clip off, and then just pull it off, and then obviously all your ducting that's here, get rid of that too, and then once you're under here, your starter's located down here, um, it's got a few connectors to it, so you've got you, you, all you need is a 13mm and an 18mm um, socket. 
Um, this hearth is connected at the top. I'll, I'll grab the starter so I can show you. Um, so it's basically sat in there like that. Mm, no, it's not. Sat in like that. Um, so let's just place it here a second so I can point to it. So you've got your main power wire there. That's got a 13 mil nut on it. And then you just disconnect this um, connection here. And then one of the main bolts has got a, it looks like this. Um, it's got a 15, uh, 13 mil nut on the end, which holds on that earth wire there. And then you've got an 18 mil on the end and just, they're quite long. Zip that off and then that's the top one done. And then you'll have to jack the car off just a tiny bit, just so you can get underneath. And then, I don't know if you can see, just where my finger is, there, there's a bracket which is held on with another 13. Whip that off and then just push the bracket out of the way. And then you're left with the last 18 bolt, which is exactly the same as that. It's a bit tight, I use an impact gun, but if you jack the car up a little bit more, um, you'll be able to get more leverage on it. And then um, once you've taken that out, you can just wobble it out and just bring it from the, I'd take it down from the bottom instead of trying to bring it all the way up here. So as you're down there, just wiggle it out and then uh, out she comes. Um, I'm just gonna give this one a bit, bit, bit of a clean and then start tearing down this one. Um, all my ducting on this is broken. So I might just sack it off to be honest, but I'm not sure. Um, and all that, but I'll keep that. I'll just replace it with this one. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna set you guys up in the corner and just give you a, I don't know, well, I'll try and get a, I'd love to just keep you like this, but I haven't got a tripod or anything, so and I'm filming on my phone so I'll try and balance you somewhere but we shall see so yeah I'll um, get this done and then hopefully the car will start a little bit better um, I'll film inside the car to show you how it's going look at that front end though Oof. sucks I haven't got the fog lights I need to get them too or I, hope, I've, I think you can get those honeycomb grills without the fog lights so that would be a bit better because Fog lights are expensive, but there you go. Still looks better than this. We're here. Right, let's um, get this done. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, I've decided just to run through it with you. So, disconnect the math. Take the airbox out. You've got one five mil Allen key here. You've got this vacuum pipe on the side. Get rid of all the ducting. Get that gone. All right, as you can see, there's the style motor. Um, it's a bit of a ball leg because you've got the linkage here as well, but you should just have enough room um, to get down there. You've got this big plastic cover. Oh, and obviously I've disconnected the battery. And shimmy that out of the way. And then you can see there's the main power. And then you've got that little connector there as well. So we'll get rid of that. And then shift that this way. You can see what I mean with the earth strap and the 13 mil bolt and nut on the end of there. And then once you remove that, it gives you access to the 18 that's there. And then I'll jack up the car. I'm gonna shut up now. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna remove those top bits and then I'll show you what to do underneath the car. So we're underneath the car now. You can't really see. I can't really show you. Just there, right in front of you, is the 13 mil that's holding the bracket on. And you move that out of the way, and then it's the same process as the other one. It's got the 18 mil. And then once you've got that out of the way, the start will just fall right out. I'm gonna go do that now. Guys, start is all in and swapped round. Let's see if it's worked or not. Please, I'm hoping one good thing can come up today. Let's see, see how she starts, ready? Exactly the same. Oh, I wonder what it is. It just does not like that one. Turn it, boom, straight away. This one, So, that's a ball lake. Oh well, well, at least one thing came out of it. That starter motor that was in this was not a factory starter motor, it was just a cheap 
um, you know, off brand. The silver one had a decent VW starter motor, so at least that's in there now. All right, guys, well, today hasn't gone as planned, and the two things that I wanted to do today have both failed. Um, so, just how it goes. I'm going to do some research now to see what can cause that. Oh, nice. Um, what can cause that starting issue? Because um, it's really pissing me off. <laughs> it's just embarrassing when you're in the shops or whatever and you're there like, bah, 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 bah. it's just a. Uh... Oh, well. Um, it will, I will not be defeated. Um, we've got a whole car next to me there. So if that involves ripping the whole engine out of it to sort that problem, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, if you've um, stayed tuned for the, the if, you've, if you've made it this far and made it to the end, then subscribe. <laughs> um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See you later.